Nee, ik kan niet kort hoor. Waarom? Oké, maar dus niet hier, maar hier. Tot daar. Ja, maar. DHL is particularly interested in um, the Hyperloop because it is a very cost-effective way of transportation and it's also energy efficient, or in most cases even energy neutral. So the whole concept is that you build uh, solar panels on the tube and since the pot that's here behind me is only consuming the same amount of electricity as a light bulb, around 80 watts, um, the whole concept could be CO2 neutral. So you could do CO2 neutral high speed transport. If uh, the industry starts using concepts like the Hyperloop, they could operate at a much lower cost and also they could operate carbon neutral. If you're not on the boat, I think you'll be out of the industry. The big move will start here in Delft, of course, in the workshed of the Delft Hyperloop team. After that, we will move it to a location where the flight case is currently situated. Uh, there the pod will be put physically in the flight case, um, which was a joint collaboration between the Delft Hyperloop team and DHL. And from there, we will take it to Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam, where our uh, Dutch hub is based. Um, it will be loaded into an airplane flown to Leipzig, our major European hub. And from Leipzig, we will put it in a direct flight towards Cincinnati. In Cincinnati, it will stay over in Cincinnati for a couple of days, uh, after which it will be put in one of our own planes from Cincinnati to LA.
DHL is really behind this project. Uh, yeah, pushing the boundaries of technology and logistics has, has always been in our DNA. Back in 1969, we shipped our first docu documents from San Francisco to Honolulu. And now we are very proud that we are part of shipping the future of transportation and the future of logistics in our network. And let's hope that in 50 years time, we will look back at uh, how we made science fiction into reality. I'm very excited to go to uh, Los Angeles in this competition. I have worked very hard with everyone in the team this year to get to this moment. So I'm really excited that we're actually going to test the vehicle and we're actually going to participate in that competition. And I'm really, really, really happy to, to be there and uh, I hope for the best. Well, a Hyperloop is sort of a small lightweight train running in a tube. And in the tube, there's almost no air pressure and therefore it's possible to travel faster, more efficient and more cost effective than the current transportation systems. And the Hyperloop is like the general system and the pods are traveling inside the tube. Well, we started off with 360 teams around the world and now we are left with just 30 teams, all with a physical Hyperloop prototype. In the end of January, they will compete with their actual physical prototype with each other to see who's the fastest, who's the most efficient, who's the safest, to see which team scores the best overall. Now, this competition isn't really about winning. Uh, it was all started to help the development of a Hyperloop system. So what it's mainly about is sharing knowledge and pooling all this knowledge to, uh, to make sure that we can develop something and get a Hyperloop up and running in a few years in the actual world. It's becoming a reality. You know, first you think it's a story, nice story, but you know, is it real? Yeah, it is real, it's here. And it's going to LA and they are gonna win this uh, competition. And this is gonna be the first Hyperloop that goes from Amsterdam to anywhere in Europe. That is what 